Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review another energy drink, and this is Mossy Oak Pursuit uh, Citrus Berry All Zero Energy Drink. Zero calories. Mossy Oak. Oh, Best Buy. Oh, Best Buy. I'm back. And um, the one thing with Mossy Oak is, I, I said this before, I used to watch Whacked Out Sports. At the very end, it said, I got confused with the logo they had at the end. And, and, and they have like a big thing. They really emphasize And the guy say, produced by Mighty Oak Entertainment. I keep confusing with that. And a while back in 2014, my sister got me a, a shirt, like an insulated shirt that had the Mossy Oak uh, signature on it. I know my one friend who's, uh, and she said it was on, they had a bunch on Big and Tall uh, on sale for uh, three bucks. And I, I think some other people had that. Uh, and yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. And that's why, and that same company that makes the clothing line does make this because they had that signature right in the back of the shirt, like I mentioned before. And this was a dollar eighty-eight from Wal uh, from Surefine Walmart Surefine. I've not been able to find this anywhere else. And they got the thing of the twigs and leaves and stuff like that. Really unusual uh, type of can for an energy drink. And uh, the very last, well, not the last, the last, uh, the one flavor. There's one flavor of these. I should say last. It has a little more of a story behind it, but I'm going to say that one for last. That's what I meant to say. Now, our weather's been... Well, let me go ahead and drink this, and I'll tell you about the weather, our weird weather. Okay. The last one, I had the original one. It tastes kind of like Red Bull. See what this tastes like. It smells a lot different. It kind of tastes a little bit like, like uh, a strawberry and like a cross between strawberry and uh, cherry sweet tarts mixed together in a drink. But I mean, the good thing is no sugar, no carbs, a uh, little sodium. I mean, all these drinks have no uh, calories, just a little bit of carbs and eight percent carbs, hundred percent niacin, fifty percent pan, uh, pantothenic acid. 25% vitamin B6 and 80% vitamin B12. Caffeine free. Oh no, caffeine 180 milligrams. That ain't too bad. And Tarina 1000 milligrams. I don't think this is bad at all. I like it. I'd probably give it uh, almost a 9 out of 10, but I'm going to have to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I really like it, so that's my review of uh, Mossy Oak Citrus Berry All Zero Pursuit Energy Drink. And I have two t-shirts available through Mean Bee Designs. Uh, they're on sale on Amazon. <clears throat> and the link will be in the description of that. And, you know, you can always, you're always free to check them out. They're, both shirts are fantastic. I'm wearing one right now. Take care of my legion. Very comfortable shirt. Uh, also, I want to talk about the weather now. Now, it's been weird. Like, last... I think I mentioned in a video, uh, it was relatively cool, and then about early last week, it started to get really hot, and it started to get up in the 80s, like summer uh, temperatures. And last Friday, it was really hot. And I remember going out, it was, it was like, incredibly hot, like, up almost 90. Um, uh, Saturday was no different when we went to Comic-Con. Now, inside it was fine, but the Skywalk was not air-conditioned, though. But, I mean, that wasn't too horrible. But it was very hot out there, too. Uh, and then throughout the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and almost, and then Wednesday, a cold front started coming in. But Wednesday was still about 82, high 82. And then things shot down. Like, very lucky to get in the 70s, you know. 
and nighttime being in the 50s and in the 40s. And right now we have like, uh, I'm shooting this video the same day. Some videos I shoot uh, beforehand and then I upload later on. Um, today, this morning, got up and uh, friend Gloria was saying like, what do you think it's warm out? I don't think, I think it's nice out. I was wearing shorts and stuff like that. It's still nice outside. I went to get the mail. Well, I got up something in the mail, and then I went out to get the other mail. And it was, uh, well, I checked the mailbox, you know, just to make sure. Um, and it was really nice out. In the morning, you know, it was real fine. Uh, going to the bank, they have like a thing that says the temperature, and it was like 62. And it was fine. Then going to sure fine. The, for gro a little bit of grocery shopping, right around the fr refrigerator area, it was cold. I felt cold though. I mean, but it's where they had the eggs. Not the fruit and fruit area, but the refrigerator area with eggs and the fruits and eggs and stuff and cheese and stuff that needs to stay cold, not frozen though. It was very cold there. And then they did, well, they did a good job keeping it cold to keep everything fresh, but. You know, you felt the cold a little bit then. But, I mean, it's fine. I, I feel good out, outside here. It's been, like, really weird going between air conditioning and heater, air conditioning and heater. Um, and then, so, it's going to be pretty cold in the 40, uh, 50s and 40s at nighttime. And then Monday is supposed to be, like, a high of 72. And then it's supposed to get some of a... Uh, Heat wave a little bit back with temperatures almost in Wednesday almost hitting 80, but a high of 78. But nighttime still being about 60, 50. Hasn't rained that much. It said it's possible of showers. The clouds, clouds look very menacing out there, but no showers from what I can see. So I thought I'd give you this little bit of an update too on the weather. Very glad I got this. Pretty good. I don't know where... Uh, uh, I just happened to luck out and find it at Surefire. Because sometimes you can find some really obscure stuff at Surefire that you can't find anywhere else. Occasionally. Uh, and I was really uh, shocked to find this because uh, right where the cashiers... Uh, there's two cashiers. It's like an old-fashioned... Well, uh, one... Joe said it was like a country store. I don't think it's a country store. That's really redneck. But I mean, it's like an old-fashioned type grocery store from like the 80s. It's very 80s looking. With a, two uh, cashiers. For, two cashiers. And then there's a place where you can cash checks and stuff like that. Pay, and you can cash out there too. But it all depends on how busy you are. But there's a row of cold drinks. And there's a whole bunch of these. It didn't even look like they were energy drinks. Because like this, you see something like this, you don't think energy. You think maybe like motor oil or something like that but no they were energy drinks i said heck i'll get some i never seen them before and it's linked to my shirt and i thought it was uh linked to Wild whacked out sports but i was wrong about that so i hope you like this video everybody until next time uh everyone please take care of my legion and take care